Hi, English 11 students. I'm Vivian Beitman. I will be your instructor for two classes, this one, English 11, and English 101. English 101 is the first of two classes you are required to take here at Delaware Tech, depending on your major. Some majors require an additional English class, but we can talk about that, or you can talk to your advisor about that. This class, English 11, is designed to be a support class to help you successfully complete that first English course that is required. English 101 is Composition 1. Next semester, you will probably take Composition 2, which is English 102. And our goal is to give you a lot of background and support and information on reading and writing skills, in addition to researching skills, to help you not just in your English classes, but in all of your classes here at Delaware Tech. The, this course, the English 11 course, is similar in a lot of ways to the English 101 course because the whole idea is to help you with that English 101 class. This is a two credit class, we will meet right after the English 101 class ends, and we will do some work in together when we are meeting face-to-face um, -to, -face to help you with whatever it is we have just worked on in the earlier course. Each week or so, we will have a checkpoint, and there are several options in these checkpoints. Most of the time I have selected the option I want you to do to show the progress that you're making in the other course, the English 101 course. So I know sometimes it gets a little bit confusing because you have two English classes. Think of it as having two textbooks, even though you don't even need a textbook for this class because we've embedded everything in the course. But think of it as having the big textbook for English 101, and then this is sort of like a supplemental textbook, like maybe focused on grammar or vocabulary or comprehension. So I will do as much as I can to help you sort out what's in the English 101 class and what's in the, 10, the English 11 class. And sometimes, in addition to those checkpoints, I will give you a grade in the English 11 class based on the work that you submitted in English 101. So there is always an added incentive to do your best work in English 101. Much of the course is organized in the same way that your English 101 class is. For example, we always have the information that you need from the very beginning of the semester. You need this information up front. And we have student support resources embedded in the course, lots of links as needed. And then finally, we organize the course by week. We are only together for seven weeks. It goes by super quickly. So I want you to do your best work from the very beginning so that you don't fall behind because then it's always a little bit harder to get caught up. On this home page, we have a link to the course schedule, to my most important information so you can get in touch with me. We have APA resource guide front and center because all of your work needs to be in APA formatting and then all the due dates. So I hope that these are some ways to help you stay on track and finish the semester successfully. That's what I want and that's certainly what you want. So I'm here to help you get there. So I welcome you to the class. I look forward to meeting you in person and I hope you are ready to work for seven weeks together.